Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is mathematics. Let's look at this question. Coming from 2023 grade 12 internal examination. And this was question number two, paper one. The question, factorize completely 3x to the power 3 minus 27x. You are told to do what? To factorize. Identify the topic. This is algebra under the subtopic factorization. Now, the moment you are told to factorize a given expression, what you need to do is to identify the type of factorization that you're dealing with. Well, look at what we've been given here. Two terms. So, when you are given two terms, one, two, they can be fractions, they can be decimals, as long as there are two terms. And the two terms must be separated by a minus here. Always, not a, pos not a plus, not multiplication or any other operation. But as long as you've got two terms, and in between the two terms there is a minus, just conclude that you're dealing with a difference of two squares. With that knowledge in mind, then this becomes very, very simple to factorize because you know what you are doing. Well, you copy the question, which is 3x to the power 3 minus 27x. Now we know that we are dealing with a difference of two squares. The principle there under difference of two squares is that the terms must be in square forms. All the terms must be in square forms. What do I mean by that? Let's say we have x squared minus 9. You are told to factorize this. You see that? It means x, the variable x, is already in square form. You have to convert to change this 9 to be in square form. How do you go about it? So you'll be able to say x squared minus this 9 to have a square it means 3 squared you see that because when i say 3 times 3 to give me 9 now that everything is in square you ignore the squares ignore them just get the bases so you have x here minus 3 so one pair will have a minus the other pair will have a positive so x plus 3 it means you have factorized this I see that. Now getting back to our question here. Can I express 3 to be in square form? You ask yourself that question. Can 3 be expressed in square form? Can 27 be expressed in square form? The answer is no. At that stage, what do you have to do? You have to perform what we call common factorization that to take you to difference of two squares. Alright? This one was direct because I can change this one to square. But this one here is different. I cannot change 3. I can't change 27. Then they are telling me to perform common factorization first. So common factorization, you look at the two sides two terms that we have. What is common? With the numbers, you start with the numbers. Well, 3 is common because it can go into 27. So 3 common. We come to the variables or the letter x. So we have x to the power 3. We also have x here. You get the lowest degree, which is x. So this is what is common here. 3x. You do this. How many 3's are in 3? 1. How many x are in x to the power 3? It will be x squared. Why? You are dividing. We are saying x to the power 3 divided by x. On top here, it's the same as saying x times x times x. Here you only have one x. You cancel this. You are going to remain with it to x. I see that? So this is what we have. Minus. How many 3's are in 27? There are 9 of them. This x has already been used, so you don't have to write that x again. You close. What next? You have this 3x here. 
what is inside here now is a difference of two squares because nine can be expressed as a square. So this is what we have here. So when I express nine as a square, I'm going to get this. I factorize this, you ignore the squares, you are going to get this. So where there is this, you be able to replace with that. So now when you are replacing, you'll be able to write the way it is, x minus 3, then the other one, x plus 3. Now, I want you to take note. You have this 3x outside, which is affecting both. It means you introduce square forms like this, square brackets rather, like that. This is the correct way of writing. This is the answer. I hope you have liked. Thank you. Bye-bye.